Hey everyone, Daniel Carbael here. This is my channel, Daniel Carbael Music. I'm going to talk about something that's actually not, has, has nothing to do with music at all in this video. Uh, this is something I've noticed when using the internet, especially the search function on the internet. If you're using a shared computer, it's your job or anything like that, this is something you might want to keep in mind because it's a feature that I assume is built in to the Mac operating system that might actually end up jeopardizing your privacy on the computer. So let me show you something. I have Netflix right now as my home page for Safari and to prove that I will open Safari and Netflix loads up, you know, asking me what I thought of the reef and um, you know, it was alright, so we'll give it three stars. Anyway, a lot of people use multiple browsers for multiple reasons. I have Safari and I have Chrome. Um, I use Safari for my Netflix. It defaults there as its home page, so whenever I want to watch something, I can very easily do so. It keeps me signed in. Chrome I use for pretty much everything else. So let me show you an interesting feature right now. Say I'm in Safari and I decide I want to download something. I go to my Google search bar, which is this bar in the upper right hand corner, and I say, you know what, I don't feel like paying for anything today. So I type in torrents. I typed in torrents and I brought up a bunch of websites related to torrents. I go to my torrent website, I download whatever it is that I want to download, I finish downloading that, I um, go and I clear my history so no one can see what I've searched and I'm all good, right? Wrong. Let me show you something. If you use the finder function, which is Apple F, let me show you what it brings up right here. Apple F, I've cleared my history, I've closed the browser, I've reopened it. There's nothing in my history relating to anything that I've searched previously in our last session. Apple F, look what pops up there. Torrents. Interesting. I assume this is a, a function built in to make it easier for me to Google things and then go to pages and find and locate directly the term that I have searched. However, it's a little weird and it's a little strange that it, that it shows up there. Let me show you something even stranger. If I go to Google Chrome and I hit Apple F again, Torrents pops up again. So it's something to keep in mind when you are, um, are trying to keep whatever you're doing as private as possible is that this does store whatever you typed in unless you were to then clear it. And um, the fortunate thing about it is that I guess it, it only stores the first word that you search. For example, if I type free torrents whatever, and then I clear my history, I back out of it, I go back into it, what will pop up is only the word free. So keep that in mind when you're doing whatever you're doing. This is just a way to understand the certain things that are stored on your computer regardless of your, your specific browser and things that get transferred across the browsers as well. So, anyway, this had nothing to do with music, but until next time, um, I will see you later. Bye.